There is a great story told about two people who went through school and college together. And they were the best of friends. When they were at school, they played football. They were always together. And certainly at college, again, going through that adolescent and teenage life, they were always together, good friends. And life went on. And they went in many ways their different ways, as does happen. And they lost contact. The first went on to become a judge and while the other went downhill and sadly ended up a bit of a criminal. One day, the criminal appeared before the judge. He had committed a crime in which he pleaded guilty. The judge recognised his old friend and faced a dilemma. He was a judge, so he had to be just. He just couldn't let him off, but on the other hand, he didn't want to punish his old friend because he still loved him. So he told his old friend that he would fine him the correct penalty for the offence. So that's justice. And then the judge came down from the bench and wrote the cheque for the amount of the penalty. That's love. And that's what God did for us in becoming human in Christ and then dying for our sins and our offences. In his justice, God judges our sinfulness because we're guilty. And in his love, he came down in the person of his son, Jesus Christ, and paid the penalty for us. In this way, he is both just and he's the one who loves. He enables us to go free despite our sinfulness because he's both our judge and our saviour. It shows us today that Jesus loves us so much that he's willing to die for us. And in this way, God makes us anew. He gives humanity a new start. And we are always people who are in need of conversion, in need of repentance. But love never dies.